Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. I just got an email to my support email from one of you having issues to change the star on the Airbus MCDU. I'm talking about the Phoenix A320. Uh, somebody's trying to fly a star but cannot update the MCDU. So I will show you on the video now how we can do a proper setting of the aircraft. So I just loaded here the uh, Phoenix A320 in Gatry Conway 26 left and I will show you what we will do. The idea is to fly the ILS DME runway 26 left in Gatwick and we have to look for the transitions. So you can see the transitions. We have several transitions on this approach. We have Timba from the southeast. We have Rilo from the southwest. So this is the two transitions that we, we have for this approach. So first in the MCDU, we need to enter the ILS 26 left and then we have to select the transition via Timba. So this is to set up our approach. So now to position the aircraft, this is what we will do. We are going to position the aircraft a few miles before Amdut so that we can fly the Kunav 1 Golf arrival with the Timba transition that will bring us to runway 26 left. So let's program that together. So the first thing to do in FSI panel will be to select that waypoint Amdut at flight level 160 you can see that the outbound track here is 308, so this is very important as well. So what we will do is we will position ourselves 5 miles southeast of Amdut on heading 308. So we should be somewhere around here. So let's do that together now with FSI panel. So FSI panel has detected that we are sitting on ground in Gatwick on runway 26 left. And now what you will do is select the fix. There is several ways you can do this. You can either go directly with the waypoint and select your waypoint uh, Amdut or the star. So we'll try a star and you see all the stars now in uh, Gatwick. So if I look again in my chart, you can see that the star that we want to fly is the Kunav 1 Golf. So sorry, if we go to FSI panel again, I'm looking for Kunav 1 Golf. And you can see that now we have the waypoint Kunav Amdut. KKA64 and Timba. So if I look again into my chart, I have this waypoint Kunav, Amdut, Kilo Kilo Echo 64 and finally Timba. So now we decided that we would like to be five miles southeast of Amdut at flight level 160 on a heading 308. So we can continue en route on this star arrival. So let's do that in FSI panel. So Amdut. Now you can see the heading. We said we want 308. So you click on the value and you change it as you like. 308. As there is a restriction, the FSI panel has automatically detected that we should be at 16,000 feet. If you want higher or lower altitude, you can as well click on that figure and change it. And by default, you have an offset of five nautical miles. So this is exactly what we want. I just have to validate my setting. And now you can see on the summary, star Amdut, waypoint Amdut at 16,000 feet. So we are ready to go. Let's click move aircraft. All right. So as always, set the three figures, the speed, heading, and altitude. So the speed is 240 as we will be clean. 240. After that, the heading no surprise 308 this is what we decided and finally the altitude 16,000 feet now we're all set to go so i'll just move my thrust lever to climb and now we let fsi panel do the job So here again, do not worry if the aircraft is moving forward. When you hit your brake, you will go back five miles southeast of the waypoint Amdut. So we just let FSI panel do the job and we will program the MCD, the MCDU sorry, together for this arrival. FSI panel is only setting the MCDU for an ILS approach if in the database. So right now what's going to happen, you can see it right there. FSI panel will set basically the arrival for the ILS 26 left. That's done for us, but it will not select a star. 
so we will do it all together now you can see as well that we have a lot of crosswind here so we will see how the aircraft react on this uh, setting all right so we are reaching 16,000 feet sorry flight level 160 i should say and we will get the control anytime soon and then i will show you how to do you can see now hold your brake for three seconds to take control we are moving forward don't worry about it and now we are going to program our mcdu if you go to the init page we see that we have already destination gatwick so if i go to my flight plan i can see that two six left has been inserted so if i click there on destination and on arrival, now we can see ILS26 left selected by FSI panel. And I guess where you have the problem is that you cannot select any star. So what you have to do there, sorry, is very, very easy. Just click on another approach. Okay, insert. And now we can go back to the arrival. I'm going to change that to ILS26 left. And now I got my star. So for us, the star is the I'm doing one golf. Down. And via Timba. So if we look again at the top screen, ILS26 left via Timba on the star and do one golf. So let's have a look at the chart. So you can see Kunav one golf via Andut and transition Timba. And that will bring us nicely to our runway so we have program or mcdu now before i execute because we have been moving forward what i recommend you to do is before you execute you see we are getting closer to timba is to take over the control so let's do that i go back to my cockpit i'm gonna help sorry hold my brake for three seconds one two three now i have the control and I can insert. And now what we need to do is direct to Amdut. So direct to the waypoint Amdut, insert. So now you can see that the aircraft is, is, is in nav, altitude cruise, flying to the waypoint Amdut. We were five miles, we moved a little bit forward. And now we are going to fly the whole transition. You can see already that we have a top of descent. So now you have all the time you need to start preparing your approach set your minima and fly a nice landing in Gatwick. If you want to use manage speed, make sure that you insert as well. You see that the, the, uh, in the init page, what is nice to do, FSI panel will do it by the way very soon on the next update, is to set your weight and your uh, zero fuel CG that you find on your EFB. If you go in mass and balance, you will find there 441.278. So if I go now 44.1, and 27.8 i can put that in the mcdu and now what she wants is the destination data that you will find on the performance next phase next phase approach and now you have to set your qnh temperature at gatwick the wind if you want to land with flaps three or flaps full and your minima of course and then the aircraft will nicely descend on vinav we are already in altitude cruise, which means she knows we are flying at 160 in cruise. So you will have an automatic descent all the way down to your runway. Always make sure as well to check that you have no discontinuity. One nice way to do that is to go into planning, flight plan. And now you can, you can go step by step on your FMC and you will be able to check the routing. So you see that What's, what's happening, sorry. Amdut, Willow, we are going to Timba and we have the whole transition via May to join the ILS 26 left. So basically now you can leave the aircraft flying the whole arrival by just monitoring and make sure that you are not boosting any of the altitude restriction that you can see as well on the right side of your MCDU. Okay, this was to answer one question from one of you having some trouble to set up the arrival on the MCDU. I hope it's clear. If you have any question, please drop a comment below and I will be very happy to answer your question. Thank you guys. And as always, stay safe and happy landing. See you.